You guys all set? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a good day today, and thank goodness the weather stayed away, and uh, we were able to get down here on the fields. It worked out um, well, and I thought that uh, for the first day, we flew around really well, and I uh, was pleased with everything. And then, of course, I'll watch film and get a little mad, but uh, watching the practice on the naked eye, I thought it uh, went real well. I'll take you, any, yeah. you take us back five years ago when you opened your first camp here and what your goals were as far as building depth, experience, and all those things, and where you are today. Right. Uh, you know, five years ago, it was kind of out here brand new running at it uh, and uh, we had a, a long way to go um, and so we wanted to work to get more depth on our team um, get bigger more physical at, in our lines which we've done um, get bigger and at, more athletic at our skill positions which we've done and uh, so um, and I thought that the the quarterbacks threw the ball really well today and um, so I thought it was a good day so I definitely feel like we're you know keep making strides in the right direction. Now we just got to go do it uh, when we step on the field. Second summer with, uh, with Drew Wilson. Yeah. Did any other, any differences you saw this summer, like any other added benefits you saw this summer from having that second year? Uh, yeah, it was. We've made um, big strides in our strength. Um, we're in good shape, but we made really big strides in our power and our strength. And, you know, like uh, I think Philip Lindsay went up like 50, 60 pounds in his squat. He's even powerful now. He's even more powerful. Uh, you know, that's just an example. It happened out throughout the whole team. So I'm really pleased with the, the strength that I see out there. And the, you know, we're, we're sturdier. We're not as wobbly out there. We stay on blocks better. We get, you know, that type of thing. It's helped us a lot. Have you seen any improvements since the spring in your defensive line in that regard, strength one? Yeah, they have gotten straight. And also, a couple of you know, a couple of our junior college kids that came in, it was all new to them, everything. They're in so much better shape and stronger. So they've, they've reshaped their bodies a little bit and gotten stronger and, and running better and, and moving better out there. Um, so I was pleased with that. Terrence Lang, Sebastian over, and you get everybody in. Yeah, they're they're all here and rocking and rolling. Sebastian got off the airplane. I think he's he says it's it's uh, uh, Sunday there right now, so he's trying to get get used to it. But he's doing good. Yeah, Terrence is um, out there running around, so um, excited to get all those guys in. Coach, uh, a lot of questions about the defense, but from your perspective, what goes into building a good to great defense? A good to great defense. Well, first of all, um, you've got to have big physical D linemen, and then I believe you got to have good corners in today's world, the way they spread you out. You're basically, you can say you're playing zone, but most of the time it turns into man situations. So I think those two areas. And then you've got to have a someone in, inside in the linebacker core that can tackle in space and do some things there. So, uh, you know, we're, we, I feel like we've got some good parts in that for sure. And now we just got to keep improving them as they go. You mentioned the corners. How, how much of a leader is Isaiah going to be in that regard? Well, he's been a great leader. Um, you know, this summer, watching him run and do things, he was very vocal. Um, watching the day in practice, he was very vocal, and, and uh, he, he, he's an excellent leader. He's played a lot of football, and, and uh, you know, with all his track experience, he has that ability to handle pressure. Um, and so I think that uh, he's been an excellent leader, and I think he'll be a super you know, leader as the lead season goes along. Jake, Jake Moretti, uh, Dylan Keeney, and mm -hmm. uh, Chase Newman were all listed as injured. Any of yeah. those guys going to be back at some point in the season? Um, I, uh, we definitely feel like Dylan Keeney should be back um, sometime during camp. Um, Jake and Chase will not be back during this camp, but they'll be going when we start school practicing and everything. So probably redshirt for those two guys? Um, yeah, they'll most likely have to redshirt for sure. Um, but they're making great progress. Um, Chase had a, a PCL surgery after the season last year. He's not quite right. Jake Moretti's making great progress too. So, you know, they well, both got redshirt years and available to do that. So, um, you know, um, so we feel like they'll definitely be fine, ready to go. So they're spending all the time with the trainers and doing all that now, getting a lot of extra rehab, and a lot of extra strength program and that type of thing. And Jason Ankle is not the knee, right? Who? I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yes. I said, no, well, yeah, it's his, yes, his ankle with his knee, you know, mm -hmm. still, still all recovering from okay. all that. With your defense, I noticed on your opening depth chart, you had 12 positions listed on your depth chart. Just can you talk about the changes that Coach Elliott's going to bring to this team? And yeah, the you know, shift we, started doing that, um, we started doing that, we started doing that really in, in, in 2014 with Cheeto. You know, you'd see him at nickel, you'd see him come off the edge. You see, So we started doing a lot with that with him and then started moving to our 3-4 scheme in that. And then we did it a ton um, uh, last year uh, when we found it was a really good fit for Ryan Moeller. Uh, so we'll still do the same thing. That's kind of how you see that buff and 
um, outside backer, nickel, all that type of scheme. So we'll be doing the very similar same things. What's the process you have to follow is with Anthony Jones for the situation? Um, exactly the quote I said. I mean, it was a day ago, so exactly the same quote I said. That's the policy I follow. Uh, yep. Trey Udofia is a guy that, you know, with the losses on defense, right. may step up huge. What have you seen out of him this summer and bringing, trying to step it up to the next level? Well, you know, he had an excellent spring. Um, he's worked hard this summer, and he looked good doing some things out here today. You know, the, the, the corner position is when you get in the games, you know, the, the pressure you're out. It's kind of like the quarterback position. Um, they're going to have to be out there on an island, and they're going to get beat some. How do they respond? How are they going to come back and keep playing physical and tough and aggressive? So uh, we'll see all that when uh, game time comes. But I, I think that he keeps doing a good job and we're competing out there at that spot right now. Your offense has so many weapons. Do you see this as a situation where uh, it's completely open competition right now? Do you want to kind of embrace that attitude even though you have so much experience at those Yeah, we positions? always do embrace that attitude because uh, you never know um, what's going to happen, who's going to get nicked up. They all got to be ready to go um, and, and ready to play. Um, but if I won't throw a guy out there to play 15% of the time when he has a red shirt year available and the guy in front of him doesn't. Right. Um, and so uh, that, I think that that's what we can, we're able to do. We don't have to throw all those guys out there right now, which is a good thing. Um, but if they're ready to go and, and something happens with a certain situation, um, won't hesitate to play them if they're ready to go. But they, they get a ton of reps. They get seen a lot. They're they're going to keep going. Let's get with Coach. Any other questions? Thanks, Coach. All right, thank Coach. you, guys.